The evaluation of humic fertilizers on a sand-based creeping bent grass putting green by Lindsay Tomes, McDaniel, and Christians. This was published in Crop Science in 2021. Basically, the authors go through the introduction and explain that the putting greens can be difficult to grow grass on and that the uh, the you know, nutrient and water holding capacity of these systems can be difficult. They do a brief explanation of what humic products are. Humic products claim numerous benefits to turf grass plant and soil health, including enhanced microbial activity, nutrient availability, uptake efficiency, a number of other benefits they, they mention, and they have some citations for that. And they say, however, these claims are largely unfounded and need further investigation. The objective of this study was uh, this field-based study was to determine if incorporating humic substances to fertilizers allow for a reduction of nitrogen rate while maintaining turf grass quality on a sand-based putting green, and to determine if the addition of humic substances to fertilizers increased turf grass microbial biomass inactivity. This was a two-year study conducted on pin cross creeping bent grass in Ames, Iowa. It was a USGA spec green. The treatments were a humic-coated urea, they applied with the nitrogen at around two pounds per year, and they were applied every other week during the growing season, essentially. And they did a humic coated urea at two thirds the rate of nitrogen. And then they did the normal two pound rate with humic dispersible granules. They did it with humic coated urea with black gypsum, and they just did straight urea. And they did a humic dispersible granule alone with no nitrogen and non treated turf grass. So basically, they have a number of different humic coated ureas as well as urea applied at two pounds. And then they have one product that they applied at two thirds the rate of nitrogen. Okay, the, uh, let's see, the, they measured turf grass quality, they measured digital image analysis, they used to measure dig, uh, the, the percent greening. And you'll see here in table three that the differences in 2019 between urea were none. There was nothing that resulted in greater quality than straight urea in 2019. All of them were very acceptable except the straight humic dispersible granule and the non-treated turf. They were inferior and not acceptable to all other treatments. Then in 2020, the same thing, the urea, uh, nothing was greater than, than urea. So adding humic coated urea rather than just urea did not result in any annual average quality increase. The two that were declined were just the dispersible granule alone or the non-treated turf grass. Okay, when we look at the turf grass quality over time, week to week, basically, the same thing, the, the humic dispersible granule alone and the non-treated turf grass showed a very noticeable decline here, okay, but compared to all the other treatments. <clears throat> and you'll see that urea, along with all the other treatments, uh, stood out in a separate group. Now, this two-thirds rate humic coated urea also was in this group as well. Um, but we can't say that you can reduce the rate to two thirds the rate of nitrogen because because they were all you know equal here. All the two thirds of the rate of nitrogen was all equal as all the regular full rate of nitrogen. But we can't say that that was from the humic part of this product because there was not a two third rate of urea control to counteract that. Okay. Treatments had a significant effect on visual quality, as you said, as I saw, but it was from the non treated and the humic dispersible granule. And let's see, the in general treatments that received nitrogen had improved turf grass quality and cover compared with treatments with no nitrogen or humic alone and the non-treated. The green cover, there wasn't much differences in green color except for at the very, very end. Uh, the, whether it was from urea or from humic coated urea, they were all the same. So there was really no benefit from applying humic coated urea in terms of green color. There were no treatment differences in terms of clipping biomass and the data was not shown for that. In a supplementary table that I won't show on this brief summary video, they, sh they show that treatments did not have an effect on soil moisture, compaction, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, zinc concentrations, or pH and CEC. So the, hum the addition of humic or the addition of, ure of urea did not result in any change in phosphorus, potassium, magnesium. It, didn't, it did result, there was one treatment that had black gypsum, which had sulfate as gypsum. And that one treatment did show an increase in sulfate. But other than that, there was no benefit or change in turf grass soil health parameters from the human coated ureas. <clears throat> the microbial biomass that they had in the objectives, there was no increase or decrease from these products as a result of, um, well, 
or compared to straight urea. You'll see here that urea, I put in the least significant difference um, above and below the urea. There was no treatment that increased it from urea in terms of microbial biomass carbon in 2019 or 2020. There was no product that resulted in any change in microbial biomass nitrogen in 2019 at all. And in 2020, compared to urea, <clears throat> there was no treatment that resulted in an increase in microbial biomass nitrogen. Treatments did not have an effect on a potential mineralizable carbon and humic substances incorporated with fertilizers appear to have no effect on potential mineralizable carbon, <clears throat> which is down here. Potential mineralizable carbon. There was no difference between any product and from urea. When we look at potential mineralizable nitrogen, again, there was no difference between any of the humic coated ureas and urea. And in conclusion, the incorporating humic substances with nitrogen fertilizer had minimal effect on soil physical or chemical properties besides the sulfur. And humic substances incorporated with reduced nitrogen fertilizers provided similar turf grass quality and cover without reducing clipping biomass compared with the full rates of nitrogen. However, the similar performance of the two thirds rate humic coated urea to the full rate of urea could be due to the lack of a two third rate of urea comparison. In other words, they did not include a two thirds rate nitrogen without the humic. Therefore, we can't say the humic added to a two thirds rate nitrogen. Could, you could actually reduce the amount of nitrogen if you just included humic because there was no two-thirds rate nitrogen. You could have seen the same exact thing from just two-thirds of the rate of nitrogen from urea without the humic acid, but we don't know. The addition of humic substances to fertilizer did not increase turf grass quality cover or clipping biomass compared to fertilizers alone. <clears throat> In conclusion, humic products incorporated with nitrogen fertilizer did not improve turf grass quality cover and clipping biomass relative to nitrogen fertilizer alone. If you'd like to see the full long form version of this video, I'll, I'll attach a, a link to it up here or up here. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching.